Reed, you tripping. You bugging. Ed Reed had a chance in 2021. He was offered the Gremlin job. But he said the timing was not right. Thank you, customers, when riding the river line. Please keep your feet off the seats. Thank you. Gremlin offered him the head coaching job. A nice package. He said he wasn't ready. Ed Reed said that I got obligations from the University of Miami. So the timing just wasn't right. Fast forward, he gets the job at Bethune Cookman. He don't like how the facility, he's got trash and other things going on. And he made a series of videos that went viral. That pretty much ended his tenure at Bethune Cookman. Now, Hugh Jackson just got fired, and Ed Reed is saying that I'm interested in the Grambling State job. He has to know that he doesn't have a chance in hell to get that job. He burned all his bridges at HBCUs. My thing is, why, if he's working for Miami, why didn't offer him an assistant coaching job? He played there, he bled there, he made them a lot of money back in the day. So why does he have assistant coaching job at the Power Five, the U? Now at the moment, I don't know what Air Reed's relationship is with the University of Miami, but this man's one of the greatest safeties ever. He has a wealth of knowledge. He was a student of the game. Why the University of Miami decided, nah, he's not really coach material, or why hasn't the NFL offered him an assistant coaching job? We're talking about Ed Reed, quarterback of a defense, one of the smartest players to ever played in the NFL, a Hall of Famer. Maybe the book is out on Ed Reed. He's a loose cannon. Now look, I don't know. I'm just saying he should have been a coach a while ago. He should be coaching somewhere, and I'm all for second chances. I would love to see him coaching somewhere at an HBCU. But I think Ed Reed is going to have to lay low for a couple years, repair his image, and then apply for head coaching jobs and say what jobs he's interested in. But if he can't get an HBCU job, and he can't get an NFL job, and he can't get a Power 5 job, maybe Ed Reed got to work on a couple things. That's all I'm saying. But he got a wealth of knowledge. He'd be great at Southern. He'd be great at Grambling. He'd be he'd be great at Texas Southern. But he got to work on some things. And we seems like he might be a little too emotional. I'm just saying, from my observation, I don't know the man at all. Just giving my opinion. Now I just read where Jackson State. O-lineman, 6'4", 315 pound, Amari Ward, is transferring to Colorado. And I don't, he's a young player. I don't see no stats on Amari Ward. Now he'll go play for Coach Prime in Colorado. So he says he's working on his game, so he wants to make an impact immediately at Colorado, and he'll get a chance. Deion Sanders loves Jackson State football players. 6'4", 3'10", 3'15". He's definitely going to get a chance on Colorado's offensive line. This Colorado offensive line is trash. They defense the line is trash. So he'll be a welcome addition in Boulder. Look, these guys leave comments.